What's up, Scrollers? It's Nerp here, and today we're going to do a ranked match video. Look in the Twitter feed here. Um, the devs tweeting out that I was streaming the ESL Highlander 2015 um, on Sunday. So you, if you want to see the entire stream of that, just go on my other channel, Nerp Streams. I have the whole video uploaded. It's like, it comes to two videos in total. It's about like five hours. So um, I'm going to play a ranked match today, but I am number one. Uh, so I don't really love playing one on number one, but I decided to because Donkey and Nick Dean are not really passing me and I want to get a video out. And we're not going to play uh, Growth, we're not going to play Tempo Order, we are going to play Energy. Uh, why don't I delete these Highlander decks that I made because that was for the Highlander tournament. Yeah, so if you want to see that, just head on to that other channel. And um, if you want to, of course, catch the broadcast live and follow me on Twitch. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, Energy. We're going to play Automata Energy. This is like Donkey74's deck. This is it. Um, and let's just queue up. I'll be back when a match is found. Found a match, guys. Let's head right into it. And we are facing Urkon Perrin. I don't think I've ever seen this person before. Um, I'm going to keep this starting hand, I think. I like the turn 3 state machine. I think I'll be pushing it with a mulligan. And I'm going to get rid of the early the early power trip. I'm not a huge fan of power trips early on. Okay. So, so far, so good. And I will most likely not have a play next turn. I mean, maybe if I can top deck like a Hired Marksman, that'd be awesome. I think Hired Marksman is, is in this deck. I haven't played it much. So, uh, let's see. He's Energy, and he plays a Tribal Memorial, so... Structure versus Structure here. And I top deck a Hired Smuggler. That was incredibly lucky. I'm gonna get rid of the Oculus Cannon. Um, I'd rather keep the State Machine. And the replica ton in my hand right now. So I look like I'm in pretty good shape. Um, I'm probably just going to play the state machine next turn. Now he has one growth. I'm not sure what kind of deck he has. It could be, uh, it could be like, what kind of growth energy? Do I, I mean, it could be like gray blocks, maybe. I don't really know. I have eagle. And a spark. Alright, darn it. So I won't be able to be getting any, like, extra value out of that. I'll get rid of the Replicaton, I'm going to play a Forge. Although, nice, I have a Burner and a Psalm Giant. So, I have these three structures here. Whatever he puts down is going to be damage I one, so it's likely going to be burnable no matter what. Because if he plays down a 4 health creature, it's going to have 3 health. If he doesn't play anything, I can just play a Psalm Giant. Which I will. And I could just, so, now if he's not going to play anything, that means he probably is going to go for like a big board clear, like a, like some quakes and stuff soon. So I'm just going to deal a bunch of idle damage with that Solemn Giant. wonder what he's, what he's working on here. Um, I can't make the Solemn Giant attack next turn. So now he has two growth, or he, Gravelock, there's a Gravelock. And Verdant Veil. Vale. So I'm not going to be able to burn you. I'm going to sacrifice the... I wish I could play the Caparata. I'm going to sacrifice for Scrolls, though. I'd rather keep the burn. And I could Oculus Cannon. A Machine Tent is also nice. So maybe I want to put the Oculus Cannon down so I have three structures. This structure is going to destro get destroyed. Mm, no, I'm going to... I think I'm going to pump twice. And stay in the middle there. If, he, if I move up, he could play like a Iron Whip on his guy and kill my kill my Solemn Giant. So hopefully he plays something that uh, doesn't have Ward that I can kill. So the burn will deal three damage. The Machine Chant will deal two damage. So this isn't a Mono Energy Structure deck. So you might be surprised that Machine Chant is included, but it's really nice for the extra ramp. Which energy kind of needs.
not totally sure what this guy's deck is all about. And there's a Vildo. That has Ward also, so I'm not really able to kill his guys right now. Uh, I will go ahead and... I'm going to get rid of the gun auto. And I'm just going to pump. Deal 8 damage to the metal idol. And should I Oculus here or Oculus here? I might force him to move if he's a little scared. Work Oculus there. I will Oculus... I want to play Oculus so I have the machine champ working. I will Oculus here. So now he might be alright, but he gets a easy way to move off the lane. So he might be a little scared to stay there because of the Oculus Cannon. And if he moves down, I'll be able to pump down my giant next turn. But then my giant probably wouldn't have any protection. So I don't know. And I have the great removal in my hand, so he's not really playing anything that doesn't have ward. Very interesting. Oh, blood. 11 health. Wow. So, I could move up and. I could move up and kill and deal 8 damage. But it would still have ward, so I'm not going to do that. I could scout auto. I think I'm going to go for resources. And just pump. I'm gonna deal eight damage to this idol. I mean, he's once he starts playing things without ward, I'm gonna get easily ahead of him in resources and scrolls because of burn and machine chant in my hand. If I can get three idols down to like two health uh, by round like nine, I should be okay. Especially with Oculus Cannons, they can snipe idols later. Okay. There's a brave. Finally, I can something I can get rid of, and a proximity charge. Well, I'll be looking to get like, I'm not sure what this tech has. Thunder surges or sudden eruptions. Okay. Well, I kind of want to stay away from this outcast. Bombard was nice, but I'm going to get rid of it. To burn a machine chant. Burn. I can kill him and then. Be able to do something else too. And draw a scroll. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna machine chant. Sack for for scrolls. Oh, I can actually burn gun automaton. Gun, gun automaton. Uh. Now I'm going to save the burn for something that has three health. And I'll just move down, which I can't really attack here because um. Then my solemn giant would die. So we'll see. I'm gonna get some value out of this top forge because he hasn't really put as much pressure on it anymore. And he moves down. I could go up to eight energy next turn, which is quite a lot. Right, oh, go! Oh, I forgot that thing can heal. Oh, this outcast is gonna be so hard to take down. Yeah, and it heals. To fully heal Gravelock Outcast. Uh, this is this is crazy. How am I going to kill that? Or at least it doesn't have that much attack, and it's not like Relentless or One Countdown. Um, I can't burn. I could burn that, and then I, but I can't get you down to Countdown then. So you're not going to attack this turn. I think what I'm going to do is play Forge. Probably play a forge in front, get a copper behind it, and see what this gun of a ton draws for scrolls. Scout auto. Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. I'm going to play a forge. Play a copper automaton and a scout automaton. So that copper has five attack. This is a lot of, I have a lot of automatons. This is an automaton deck, so scout automaton is very valuable. 
Hopefully he doesn't have like a burn for it or something. He doesn't have that many resources. 2-2-2 two, two, two means he can only play things that cost 4. So I'm not too afraid. Like there's not going to be like a bounce dispersal or anything. Um, Alright, he sparks. So he had a spark. A little annoying, but it's one for one trade. And he had to pay actually more resources to do so. And if he plays any kind of creature, he will be able to kill this Automatic Forge. Alright, so this is like... Alright, he has a, like, enchantment deck here. And this has so much health and he can heal. I'm just going to try not to damage it at all. I'll try to win the game without having to damage him. It's going to be tough. Now I can burn you, though. Uh, Alright, I can actually sacrifice a resources power trip. Um... Hmm... But I have to be able to like get rid of all this. I'm going to sacrifice the power trip for scrolls. Knowing I could play Burn State Machine this turn. Because I want to see if I can get a Thunder Surge maybe. No, I could probably just play that next turn. Yes, I'm actually going to burn first. Burn you. Double power trip. I'll get rid of one of them. Another burn is nice. Uh, I'll just play... I don't know what I want to do here. Because do I give up the token gun automaton or do I give up my scout automaton? I think the scout might be more important. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to keep it like that. And I... I'm just going to play... A a, a state machine down here. Because I don't want to play the replica time. I don't have two energy left over. Okay, I could have actually pumped him once instead. I don't know. Very interesting match. I feel like I'm ahead, but I'm kind of scared. Because this guy... If he starts taking damage, he's going to be really big. Um, and if he, I'm just afraid he's going to get like a machination mindset on him when he's really big. I have to make sure I have my Solemn Giant like nice and strong. Oh, he has a Machination Mindset. Oh god, how do I do this? These enchantment decks. Like, a Valve Dispersal isn't going to be able to kill him. Hmm. I have... Okay, so I think I'm going to... take this out the problem is I could take the builder out actually if I go for resources power trip yeah I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna go for resources power trip thunder surge that's the play thunder surge and then you're not part of it so you don't get extra attack I'm not going to hit you and I'm going to hit the idol, like a pump or the play the replicaton. I will play the replicaton right here. Okay, very interesting match. Um, both of those guys have ward. That was a big thunder search for me. I topped like that at the right time with that power trip. And hopefully he plays, alright, Blind Rage, he played on the middle guy. So that deals two damage to those. This was going to blow itself up anyways, I don't really mind that. But So he basically dealt two damage to the Solemn Giant and increased the Replicaton's, Replicaton's count down a little bit. And this, Oh, this guy can also fully heal, that's annoying. I want to be able to snipe with the Solemn Giant somehow. Hopefully he doesn't, I mean he's going to move up probably. Hmm. So he moves to the middle, which means whatever I, whatever I do is going to be, let's see, I, I, I'll get rid of the spark. Nothing, I could burn that. Valent Dispersal, I can't really play it on anything. I could burn Aquamaton. I think I'm just going to pump. I will pump. 
and he's gonna be able to move up and kill you or I can move you up because I'm gonna have two energy left over okay so now we we have we did a lot of idle damage we have an idol on one health and two idols on two health I'm just gonna try to not damage this guy and this guy I don't know okay there's the burn so he did his he did a lot of work though let's see if I can get another Psalm Giant soon and um, I'll see if he decides to kill the token creature or the Replicaton Replicaton I'm gonna get back in my hand if he kills it if he kills the token creature I have this guy on Amazon ready to attack but I, like I said I don't want to really attack that Um, he goes for resources. Alright, so he's going to kill this. Okay, well, I'm not going to really kill him anyways. So the post resistance won't really affect too much. So I got the replicaton back. I have another replicaton. Hmm. I think I want to get rid of the Valent Dispersal. These guys, they, I'm not going to be able to the Valent Dispersal them, so there's not really much of a point to that. Could go to more energy and play the Ekmaton and the Replicaton. Uh, then I could have... Yeah, five and four. I'll do that. And I'll put the replicates on here. He could have a thunder surge now, he could play it next turn. And whatever, I have to I have to put I have to put units all over the board. Cause hopefully he plays some kind of spell so I can actually get something out of this Aquamaton. I think a big part of this game will be making sure these replicatons never actually go away. So let's try to keep them around. Maybe I'll just end up winning with a big bombard play because of these idols. Death Cap Berserk. And that is an enchantment. Uh. How do I. Okay, well. At least you have some extra attack, and he's going to take on that idol. Now, how do I kill that? Burn. Burn, I think we can part with. Maybe we should just burn this before he can blow it up. is relentless. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this. This, this. this enchantment deck might beat me. I'll get rid of the burn. <sighs> and he's going to get so much. He's going to have 8 attack. Okay, if he's gonna kill me, he's not gonna be able to do any idle damage. I'll make it like that. And. I will. Try. Try to put pressure on his idols, I guess. I don't really know what to do. The thing has eight attack. I kind of want to bombard. I think that might be my take it back. All right. Is he going to win the game? Okay, that thing now is crazy. Yeah, this guy, I think this guy has it. Hmm. 
I'm gonna be able to deal five damage to him. Can't mount dispersal anything. I can burn here. Hmm. Let's get rid of the violent dispersal. Bombard. I have enough resources for replicaton, gun automaton, bombard. Would that kill both of these guys? Five, and then this is going to have four attack. Or he's going to take one damage, right? Death cap. So I think it deal nine damage to you. That will do enough there. And then if I deal... Yeah, I can kill both of these guys. Awesome. So... Like this. Yeah, four or five. Uh, yeah, you're going to die, right? Death cap. Yeah, you're going to die. And then I will deal... How to do this. And I'm set up for a big thunder surge, but who cares at this point? I may as well get you in there. Oh no, that's, I forgot about the potion resistance. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's it. I forgot about the potion resistance. I thought, I thought I was actually going to win that. Yeah, the potion resistance just did much. I, I, I would have, if there was no potion resistance there, I would have won that match. Well, that's the power of Ward and uh, the current enchantment decks. Um, I, well, I didn't really enjoy that much because there was really nothing I could do, and I played pretty perfectly, and I had pretty good draws too. So I'm going to give that a 2 out of 5 stars. Um, well, I'm not good. It's, it's actually kind of funny. People that play these decks, a lot, oftentimes they turn off Spectate because they don't want people to like know them as the annoying people that play the, to play the enchantment decks. But I don't really blame them because it's not their fault that these decks are viable. I do hope that Ward is changed somehow so that after after the ward is played you can't put any more enchantments or spells on the unit so that would so that would be much more fair i think well i guess that'll be it uh for today i not too happy about losing 26 rating to something i really couldn't uh do much about i'm sure you're all like screaming at your computer screens when you're when i was thinking i can kill that guy but i forgot about the potion of resistance well Thanks for watching, everybody, and keep on scrolling. That's number three. Got to get that up.